One day, Danny was walking to work and had witnessed a fatal car crash. Danny had recognized the license plate on the car. The authorities warned him not to come close, but he did anyway. His uncle Jeff had died. 24 hours later, Danny's informed of it and simply responds, yeah, one month later, and he has still told nobody about the $100 billion that he inherited from his uncle and keeps it all to himself. Even in the midst of all of his money problems dissipating, many more arise in his place. Money really can't buy happiness, can it? He thinks. Danny's family starts wondering where his fortune went, and they highly suspect it might have been Danny. So at 1.30 a.m., while Danny is sleeping in his friend's house, his family breaks in at the dead of night and seals his computer. Even any scraps of paper that may have it were free game. The place was trashed. And split among all five of them, each family member got $16 billion. A generous $20 billion for Danny was still left behind. But then it is discovered that the company that handled the will accidentally gave the money to Danny instead of his uncle's best friend with the exact same name. So the family gets all the money taken away from them. And Danny number one, the actual Danny we've been talking about the whole story, feeling a change of heart and not wanting a sad ending to the story, actually drops charges. So Danny loses all of his money. He makes up with his family, realizing that if your brother had generational wealth sitting at his empty, easily broken into house, you might be tempted to, wishing that he never got the money in the first place.